He was the founding leader of the Pan-Africanist Congress. He led a nationwide protest against their hated past laws on the 21st of March in 1960. Sobukwe was imprisoned on Robben Island, but he was kept in solitary confinement away from other prisoners. He was considered to be so dangerous by the apartheid government that parliament enacted the Sobukwe Clause, which is a law that authorized the arbitrary extension of Sobukwe's imprisonment. To tell us more about uh, Sobukwe, we have a Professor Kwandiwe Kondo from University of Johannesburg, and he joins me now live in studio. Good afternoon to you, Prof. Thank you Good so much afternoon. for coming through. Thank you. Thank you. Now, 41 years later since his passing, when we look back at the current developments here in South Africa, what do you think he would, he would say? Well, I think uh, Robert Sobukwe would be very worried first about the, 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 the moral standing of political leadership, the burden of moral example, which our leaders are actually fa failing to carry. And secondly, he would be very worried about the land question, mm. which is unresolved in South Africa. Yeah. Yes. But from where you sit in, do you not think that there is finally light at the end of the tunnel in terms of the land issue? We're hoping so. We're hoping so, but the devil is in the detail. Eh? We're not sure how they are going to recraft and rephrase mm. section section 25 of the Constitution. That is what many people are saying, that we hear that it's going to happen, yes. uh, but we don't have the details as yes. to how it's going to be implemented. But at the same time, you can't read that particular section of the Constitution in isolation of the entire Constitution. Mm -hmm. Yes. So let's look into the PAC itself and then the current uh, internal leadership battles. That is worrying, more so in the lead up to the elections. Yes. Uh, in fact, leadership battles in the PAC are not new. Mm. Eh? If you look at the history of the PAC from the time it was in exile, led by PK Libalo, you see, the, the PAC as a brand was compromised by the divisions within its own ranks mm. and especially divisions at the level of leadership. This has become part of the institutional culture of the PAC that when it comes to position of president, uh, the top positions, there must be fights and these fights are so endless and very difficult to stop. Mm. And I suppose they also compromise what uh, PAC is all about. It, it compromises what the PAC is all about. And in fact, some other people actually use that to, 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 to argue that actually Sobuko was a political failure, which is not true, you see, because you can't use internal divisions within the PAC as a lens through which you interpret the history of uh, the legacy of Robert Sobuku. Mm. Sobuku was actually a leader of the PAC for a very short time. He was arrested, stayed in prison in Robben Island, and, and was under house arrest until he died in 1978. Mm. So Sobuku, the short time, the short span that he spent as leader of the PAC, his leadership uh, credibility and, and the weight of his leadership was actually felt mm. inside the organization and in the whole country. But I suppose it's yeah. being tainted by, by what is currently happening now within the party. It's actually tainting the PAC, mm. but the legacy of Sobukwe will remain shining. Prof, I'm afraid time constraints will extend an invitation once again to you to talk about the struggle icon. Thank you so much for coming. Thank through. you. Thank All right. Well, there you have it. Professor Kwandwe Kondo from the University of Johannesburg talking to us about the legacy of uh, Robert Mangalison. So good.